right, what's going on everybody? Today, we're really excited. I've waited all month for this. We had a bunch of card shows to go to this weekend. I got one today in Fairfield. We're actually not at the card show right now. We're gonna stop by this antique shop. I've seen it on the freeway multiple times when we drive by to go to Davis. So we're gonna stop by. I saw a listing on Craigslist. I like the cars that were there um, and some stuff that they had available. So we're just gonna take a look, check it out, kind of do some treasure finding, see if we can sign, find anything to flip. Um, but uh, I'm really excited to have the whole weekend set to go out and see card shows. No agenda, might meet up with some friends, just kind of relax, it's been a long week. Uh, so let's see if we can find something, uh, pick up some cards and I can learn the sports business. All right, so we just finished up the antique shop. There wasn't really a lot up there. Uh, took a look around. Uh, they had some cards, but anything really to write home about. All right, change of plans. Uh, we went to see the convention, um, and it was a long ass line. And my wife was like, she's hungry, so we're not gonna wait in line first. We went to go to In and Out, hopped over. So I think uh, now that we eaten In and Out, we're gonna go check out the convention now. Get in line. I heard, or I was talking to someone in In and Out who went to the convention that it's really hot in there. He said there wasn't very many Pokemon vendors. There's like two of them. So we'll see uh, what they have over there and if they're not like rip, you know, charging a grip or not. But I'm excited. We're finally back from the card show. It's about 12.30. It's past midnight. Got in really late. Uh, we kind of we didn't stay the whole time at the card show. I, unfortunately, I apologize. They didn't shoot much footage of the show because to be honest with you, it was jam packed and it was very warm in there. So I do apologize that I didn't show very much footage, but there were a lot of vendors. There were like three different rooms. I wasn't really looking for anything specific. Um, I wasn't looking for a certain card or anything like that. All I knew that I wanted a couple of Lamello base cards. Um, I didn't really find any. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure if I was looking in the right area or if I didn't ask the right people, but uh, there were a lot of sealed products, a lot of singles, a lot of graded cards, uh, but it was just a lot to take in. It was my first sports card show. Um, Someone coming from a Magic and Pokemon background is definitely an eye-opening experience. Ended up buying a Don Russ 2021 hanger box. Hopefully I can open Lamello since you know stock is abysmal in a retail store. Um, it was the next best thing and I've never opened a basketball product so you know I can shoot a video of boxing of that as well. Not that many Pokemon vendors which was it's understandable but there were a couple of people selling Pokemon cards. The markup was ridiculous. We're talking about Crobat V boxes for like $90. We're talking about like Hidden Fates ETBs for like 200. It was outrageous. Um <laughs> I mean, some of the product like Shining Fates just came out and they're flipping like pin collections for like 45. It's like $15 a pack. That's more than $10 a pack. That's outrageous. It's just amazing what people are doing with like, I don't want to say scalping, but you know, just gouging prices because of, you know, they have availability and stock. Um, but overall, it was a great experience. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.